Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are checking out the mission 3 result aka the reveal of the final 10 contestants. Um, I'm very nervous for this because I know we're gonna be losing 3 people. Each elimination has been so devastating because we lose a lot of people at one time. It's just, it's just more difficult than you know where you're losing just one person maybe at a time. Which is also bad, but this just makes it so much worse, I would say. Yeah, and after this, we will be checking out the epilogue, because I saw that that was out as well. Uh, yeah, we should just get into it. Alright, everyone. This is it. Let's go. 3, 2, 1. Dream. 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 Not at all ready for this. I am not. Ooh, look at Manon. She looks so pretty with her hair like that. She's so pretty. Good anyway. Evening, Here we are for the final discussion, mission three, the artistry mission. These performances were so good. They were so good. First and foremost, congratulations to each oh. and every one of you for completing all three missions from the Dream Academy. You all have come so far as artists, embracing this journey with unyielding determination. From your auditions to day one of your training, your stories have been woven into a tapestry of passion, resilience, and growth. Through the countless hours of practice and the tears of frustration, you forged an unbreakable sisterhood. Your talent and commitment have left us all in awe. Ah! Your dreams have become a Looks like Israel is already crying. And the world has watched you transform into shining stars. And now, after an incredible journey filled with countless unforgettable moments, it's time to reveal the 10 contestants who will be joining us for oh, the live girly. finale. The top two contestants have earned a spot in the finale. Okay. Lara, please step forward to receive your invitation. Oh my god. Congratulations. Wow, dude, that caught me so off guard. We've never Lara's been kind of like I feel like she's been up there and like in the in the top six, I would say always. But this is a jump. This is a jump for her. That is so amazing and I'm so happy for her. Honestly, she deserves it. She really, really does. She's been nothing but amazing. And our top ranked contestant is Sophia. <laughs> Wait, wasn't Sophia Please last time too? To receive your invitation. Or and the first time I'm the first time too? She is top top. There is no defeating her. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that Sophia is gonna be there in the final debut line. So <laughs> I don't worry about her like even a bit. <laughs> there are eight invitations left to the three incredibly okay. talented artists who won't continue on this journey. Please know. I love all that, that dreams editing. Your journey doesn't end. This editing is really cool. It's merely a new beginning. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I feel like my stomach weird being weird. Azrella, please step forward to receive your invitation. Nice. Congratulations. Daniela, please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. Love it. Emily. Emily. Oh, okay. I won't lie. I was actually really afraid for Emily. Uh, because I've noticed like in the previous round, she hasn't been getting a lot of votes as well. So I was having a bad feeling for her like this in this uh, result announcement. 
Uh, and I thought she did amazing in the last mission. In mission three, she did amazing. So I was like really nervous for her. Um, but at the same time, I was also thinking that if they're making this sort of global girl group, they really want people from different backgrounds. And I feel like they need Emily. I feel like they're gonna have Emily in their group. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think I'll talk about it more later on, maybe, but I might forget, but yeah, anyway, let's continue. Your invitation. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Cuties. Samara. Samara, Please let's go, let's go. Your invitation. Congratulations. Samara was gonna be there too. Like, I feel like she has a lot of fans, so. And she, it's deserved. Like, she is so, like, strong in every aspect, I would say. Manon! Please step forward to receive your invitation. The girly that really impressed me, like, super, super impressed me last time. It was amazing. My, my impression of her has skyrocketed. The most, I think. It's like crazy. Super crazy. But, yeah. Like her potential. She has so much potential, you know? That star quality. Marquise. Marquise! Please step forward to receive your invitation. I was really worried for Marquise as well. <laughs> oh no. How many people do we have left? To the five of you remaining. Oh. The competition has been fierce, and your talent undeniable. But there are only two invitations left to the finale. Your dreams are within reach, and the moment of truth is upon us. <gasps> Megan, please step forward to receive your invitation. Congratulations. I'm not gonna lie, out of that whole... I love everyone, out of... I love everyone, basically. But... I was definitely really rooting for Megan. Because I was really scared for her as well. I was really scared for her. Uh, she's kind of at the bottom in terms of votes a lot of times too, I feel. So... I don't know, I just really like her and I'm... Ah, thank goodness. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, wait. Invitation. Congratulations. Oh, look at Yunche's face. <laughs> You're one person. We ha we literally have two Korean members over here. One Japanese member. Oh, that's kind of really insane to me. Wow. Uh. Um. Okay. I really feel like it's going to be Yunche. And let me tell you why. I feel like this kind of comes back to what I was talking about in terms of uh, Emily being the one like being one of the people that they are going to keep because they want like a global girl group. Actually, let me see. Let me check first if I'm wrong or right. And depending on that, I should talk. Otherwise, it's going to be embarrassing. Your passion and talent is undeniable. You've been through an incredible journey together. And now, with only one invitation left for the live finale, this decision is incredibly difficult. Yun Che. Please step forward to receive your invitation. I knew it. It was uh, kind of obvious. Your journeys have been a testament to your dedication. And I won't... Well, it's not like super obvious just by watching the show. Uh, it, it became more obvious due to other stuff that I saw. And I didn't mean to see it. Okay, I did not mean to. But on my Twitter, I suddenly got a pop-up of like... Apparently like Nayong 
having her own YouTube channel or something. Like I actually haven't even found her YouTube channel on my own, but I just saw people talking about it. And I was like, wow. So Nayong is not going to be there anymore. Interesting. Not only that, not only that, but in the commentary video, the judges commentary video, um, the lady on the right, I do not remember their names, I'm sorry, but the lady on the right, she said that Nayong was having doubts, basically, you know? Like, she wasn't sure if she wanted to be a soloist, maybe, in the future. She wasn't feeling 100% um, with this whole group thing, you know? And um, I feel that might have pushed the judges to keep somebody else, basically. Even though she's really great. She's really, really great. Um, so that was my thing with Nayong. I had a huge feeling she wasn't going to be there. And with Ua, Ua has had a great journey. She has so much amazing, amazing potential. She is, just look at her. Just look at her right now too. She's like a cute bean. But at the same time, when she's performing, she's like so fierce. She has that perfect balance going on. There's something really special about this girl. I really liked Ua, honestly. But I know she's on the younger side and she has time to really improve even more and like i know she's gonna be successful like she's amazing and the other person we have is celeste celeste i also feel she actually was getting a lot of votes and i think because it's not only dependent on the votes it this uh, celeste's elimination has been really pushed by the judges i feel or whoever is like behind the scenes you know, dealing with all of that. So I think Celeste's elimination has been pushed by them. So, to be honest, this is kind of what I thought was going to happen. The only two people that I was actually genuinely... Not two, three. The only three people that I was genuinely afraid of... Uh, not afraid of, afraid for... Um, uh, they were Marquise, Emily, and Megan... These three people. Because I feel like they're sort of at the bottom. Um, but yeah. I'm not very very surprised by this elimination. To be honest. And each one of you have Aww. shown brightness. In your own unique way. And just when I was saying. The last performance. That I I felt like Celeste was really starting to shine. I could see her more. The live finale awaits. And the world is eager to witness the magic you create on that stage. The finale. I cannot believe this. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. If they just went by vote, it was literally going to be Megan and Yunche as well. Oh my god. Wait. Ooh. I love that I haven't seen Emily's face yet. That means she got a lot of votes. I'm so happy for her, honestly. She deserved it. Ua was... Oh, sweet baby. She was last. Oh. So, okay. Ua... Why are so many of my faves at the bottom? I'm just so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad, but it's okay. Okay, Emily's in seven, just out of. Oh. Celeste was number six. S see, she I knew she was getting a lot of votes. Nayong was third. That was expected because Nayong uh, continuously was getting a lot of votes, I believe. This is so crazy. Who's gonna be at the end? Oh, wait, I just want to see. If we take it into consideration the top six right now, it's Sophia, Lara, Emily, uh, not Emily, sorry, Ezrela, Daniela, and Emily. So, what I wanted to say earlier was that I feel they are going to keep people that 
are from different backgrounds, and all of them have different backgrounds. Um, by that I mean that they're probably not gonna have like, for example, two Indian girls in the final. I think this is something that most people think because they would want a variety in the group to be able to promote the group better, which is really sad. But I feel like that's what they're gonna do. Um, I don't. I really don't think they're gonna be keeping two Indian girls in the final six. I think Sophia is gonna be there. Between Lara and Ezrella, throughout the show, I feel like Lara has been having like a stronger chance. This all of a sudden, this is my prediction video, <laughs> but I feel like Lara has a stronger chance from what I've been seeing. Both of them are really wonderful, but I feel like Lara has a stronger chance. I think Daniel is gonna be there, sort of like the representation, sort of like the Latino representation because she does have her roots from there. Um, wait, hold on. Uh, then, yeah, so it's going to be uh, Sophia, uh, who was number two, uh, Lara, Daniela, Emily, shoot, bet I feel like it's going to be between Samara and Manon, I don't know who it's going to be, but even though Samara has been super, super popular, I don't know why I'm having a feeling that it might be Manon in the final six. I'm just having a huge feeling. Um, and it's going to be between Marquise and Megan. So this is my prediction. It's going to be Sophia, Emily, and uh, Daniela. And there's going to be a competition between both the Indian girls, uh, Samara and Manon, a competition, and a competition between Marquise and Megan. It, this is how it's going to turn out to be. Like, this is just my prediction. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, oh, shoot. I forgot Yunche is still in the game. And they will keep a, I, they will keep a Korean girl, for sure. Okay, that just made things very complicated. That just made things very, very... Co okay, I'm going to stop trying to guess now. I'm done with that. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> My whole world came crumbling down. Um, okay. I want to check out the epilogue. So let's get into the epilogue. Okay, the epilogue. Mission 3 epilogue. Let's go. Dream. Fun. Dream. Dream Academy. This whole experience in general was so important and so amazing to me. It was literally such a dream. And I can't Aww. believe that I got this far. You did I'm amazing. Sorry. <sighs> this is so hard. Glue body da bunka. Iron tongue on it. So, 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 that's great. so cute. I'm really looking forward to Uwa. I just want to see her in the future. Oh no, don't. Hug her, protect her. Oh, no. I was a dream academy. I was a dream academy. I was a dream academy. I feel like I have learned and grown so much 
because when I first got here I was a totally different person and now I'm like the best version of myself I remember when I auditioned I had like <laughs> zero like expectations I was like I'm not gonna pass this audition of course <laughs> and then I remember my first email that was the best day ever oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is so heartbreaking. Nayeong seems like she's the most like focused, not focused, but like not breaking down like the other girls because it feels like she already has other plans in mind. Like she knows where she wants to go, like what she wants to do. Which is honestly amazing. Good for her. なりわたらこう戦略かごしさん。今まで少ない期間でしたが、私は英語もコミュニケーションが。私はもうコミュニケーションが。私にえいごがんばおせいてくださったりたくさん仲良くしてくださったりしてとてもとても嬉しかったですみんなが私のことを好きしてくれてとても嬉しかったです私はずっと日本から女の子をずっと応援してずっとチェックしているので頑張ってください<